What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. We're back to Ray. As you can see, I'm excited. I've really, really enjoyed everything I've checked out from her so far. And I'm excited to check this out. Uh, this is one of the highest uh, light requests from the last Ray track that I did. Um... And the person said, I have to watch the video. I believe that's what the comment said, I think. Anyways, I see a few versions here which are catching my eye because I see that she's done a live performance on Jimmy Kimmel. She has the live performance, I guess, from Glastonbury 2023. Um, I would love to check out more live stuff from her because we did the Tiny Desk, which was awesome. Uh, but I'll check out the recorded song first. And if you guys want the live one, you can always comment and I'll do what you guys ask. But Ice Cream Man, I have the lyrics pulled up over here. Uh, looks like she's crying, so I don't know what, what we got. Because when I think ice cream, I think, like, I think, like, happy. Ice cream makes me happy. There's a fly in here. Yo, I'm about to have, I just said this on my last video. That's when I noticed it. I'm about to have a Breaking Bad episode. What do they call them? Bottle episodes? Where I'm just going to be in this room trying to catch this fly. It just touched my forehead. This is unacceptable. It's in here somewhere. Okay, refocus. Let's watch the video. The following video deals with adult themes of sexual violence. It contains scenes that some audiences may find upsetting. Viewer discretion is advised. Whoa. Okay, Ray. What are we doing? Let's check it out. Sounds really like somber, setting up for something emotional. So this producer hit me up on the DM. He told me, hey, I really like what you are doing. He told me, come around to the studio, let's cook it. He told me, come to catch a vibe and make some music. But when I got that, should have heard what he was saying. Trying to touch me, trying to fuck me, I'm not playing. I should have left that place as soon as I walked in it. How goddamn dare you do that to me, really? Whoa, okay. I have some goosebumps right now. Um, I think the visuals are definitely adding to that feeling, like seeing her sitting in this bathroom stall crying right now. But what she's saying, I feel like there has been a lot of women, especially in recent time, that have like exposed some of this, um, this side of like the music industry. I don't want to over comment. I want to kind of see where she's going with this. Um, this is deep. It's not what I expected when I saw the title. All right, let's keep it going. You do that to me, really? Coming like the ice cream man. Till I felt his ice cold hand. And how I pay the price now? Damn, goddamn, goddamn. Everything you did it left me in a ruin. And no, I didn't say a word. I guess that proves it. I'm a woman. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh, my God. Yo, that line hit so hard. Like, everything from the start of the song to that point was like a build up to that line. Just, I'm a woman. I didn't say a word. I guess that proves it. I'm a woman. And no, I didn't say a word. I guess that proves it. I'm a woman. Oh, yes. Cause I'm a woman. I'm a very fucking brave, strong woman. And I'll be damned if I let a man ruin. How I walk, how I talk, how I do it. Man, I've been broken for a moment. I've been through it. Now. It's even harder to be brave alone. Was a girl, now I'm grown. I'm a woman. Very fucking strong woman. Yes, ma'am. And I was seven, was 21, was 17, and was 11. It took a while to understand what my consent means. If I was ruthless, they'd be in the penitentiary. But all the stress. 
yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like watching the hands on top of her, like I really don't like it. Um, I just feel like it is taking me to a bad place. Uh, so I understand like the disclaimer warning on it, but peep the subtle things like maybe not subtle because it's right there, but the fact that there was a ring on the hand. Um, I think that just makes me even more mad. But okay, um, let's go. Fuck a strong woman. And I was seven, I was 21, was 17, and was 11. It took a while to understand what my consent means. Oh, if shit. I was ruthless, they'd be in the penitentiary. But all the stress of being honest wouldn't help me. I pushed it down, but it was living in me rent free. And then I fell into some things that weren't healthy. A place where no one heard me asking them to help me. Bro. And I don't know why I'm saying bro, but, uh, I just, this particular thing bothers me a lot. Um, and it makes me really upset. So I'm just going to keep trying to listen to the song and keep going. Uh, but like, it's just, it's just very real the way that she's doing it, um, which just speaks to her talent and her artistry. Uh, but the line over here, the, I was seven, I was 21, I was 17, I was 11. It took a while to understand what consent means. Dude, that, I don't know if I'm ready. I was ready. Like, I just had a son, 10, 11 months. So I think about him and we're, we're hoping to try for next baby for 2024. So coming up soon and we would love to have, you know, baby girl, like have our baby boy, baby girl. But for both of them, hopefully if, if things work out for us, these type of things just like as a parent, like I can't. I know I can't be everywhere and I know these things exist in our world, which sucks. And I think that's what makes this really hard for me to not get emotional and not get upset because I almost feel helpless. Um, man, I know this video is going a little long. I'm just having a hard time. So. Coming like the ice cream man till I felt his eyes cold head. That proves it. I'm a woman. Cause I'm a woman. I'm a very fucking brave, strong woman. And I'll be damned if I let a man ruin how I walk, how I talk, how I do it. Man, I've been broken for a moment. I've been doing it. It's even harder to be brave. But love, I was a girl, now I'm grown, I'm a woman. Very fucking strong mm -hmm. I wish I could say how I feel How I felt and explain why I'm silently blaming myself Cause I put on these faces Pretending I'm fine Then I go to the bathroom And I press rewind in my head Always going round and round in my head Your fingerprint stuck a stain on my skin You made me frame myself for your sin You pathetic dead excuse of a man though you know like it's hard like i love that it's a message of encouragement and 
empowerment and not to hide away or shy away, but it's difficult when in this world, like the thing I hate the most and like I've seen people make comments like this, like, and there's lots of arguments, there's lots of comments, but the one of many that really irks me is like, well, if she didn't want that kind of attention, why did she dress that way? And I just want to be like, are you a fucking animal? Like, isn't there supposed to be a difference between us and like base, like animalistic response and emotion? Like, I don't even know if emotion is a right, right thing. Just like animalistic instinct. There's a reason we have brains and we're evolved and we can, we can think like... I don't know. This video could be an hour long of just me getting angry and talking, but I don't think that's going to be good for anybody. Um, man, you know what? It's super, super brave of her to to do this. And I think certain lines in this, like definitely the part where she gets to the end of this this bridge at the end here and she says, you pathetic first of all you made me frame myself for your sin how crazy that is to like be framed for something so think about it if you didn't commit the crime and you got framed it means that people think you're guilty for something that somebody else did think about how that applies to this situation like blaming yourself for something that somebody did to you that line is crazy and then she goes you pathetic dead excuse of a man I'm so happy that's there because that's all it is. There's no defense. There's no excuse. There's no rationale you can give to justify that type of action. You're a pathetic dead excuse of a man. 100%. Or woman. Like I know it goes both ways. I know those type of abuse things exist as well. If you're the abuser, you're pathetic. That's it. But the part where she put in here, I'm a brave, strong. I'm a very fucking brave, strong woman. I hope that that resonates with people that need to hear it, that are going through this type of situation from somebody else who's gone through this type of situation. Um, so like more power to her. I'm super glad that she's in a place where she feels like she can be powerful for other people and help them. Um, it's hard in today's world. I don't know. I don't know. It, I hope it gets easier. I hope it gets easier to be in this type of situation and be, feel like you can speak out without being blamed, without having the, without being gaslit and having the script flipped on you. Because that's not fair and that's how our history has been for a very long time. It's always the woman's fault or the victim's fault. What did they do to uh, like make the abuser want to do this to them? And that's bullshit. I know it's dragging on, but... If you're still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. Please comment down below. Let me know what else I should be checking out from Ray. I love her. She's awesome. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you next time.